everyone, welcome back. I'm Eli Schilling, Director of Product Management for Oracle Cloud. This again is our video series for virtual networking in the cloud. And today we're gonna jump in and talk about security access control uh, within our virtual cloud network. So we've got to go, oh, there we go. All right, uh, so where we left off last time, uh, here we have our virtual cloud network, uh, some subnets, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and leave these gateways in here from the last video. So now that we have our route tables defined, we have our gateways created, a mechanism to enter and exit our virtual cloud network, we have to control what is allowed to flow into and out of our virtual cloud network. To help illustrate this process, let's go ahead and just put a couple of compute resources in the different subnets so we can think about the traffic flow into and out of those compute instances. Uh, so we'll put one here in the public subnet, we'll put a couple here in these private subnets, and that gives us the ability now to kind of visualize that traffic flow through our environment. Uh, now let's go ahead and zoom in here on the first piece, which is our uh, security list. And that security list is going to allow us to create the rules, again, that define uh, what, re what traffic is allowed to flow into and out of the resources in this particular subnet. So let's add a rule to this security list. We're gonna add an ingress rule uh, to allow ingress traffic from 0.0.0.0 slash .0, .0, 0 with a destination port of 80. So essentially what that's going to do is allow anything on the internet that's trying to access my server to come in through that internet gateway into the subnet and access those resources on port 80. Presumably we're running some sort of uh, web server, so HTTP traffic is allowed inbound because of this security rule. Now, let's go ahead and uh, zoom in a little bit on our uh, private subnets, and let's populate this with a couple of network security groups. Now these network security groups, instead of being associated at the subnet level, are associated at the instance level. And this allows us to set a different group of rules across all of our resources that may not be in the same network segment. It gives me a little bit more flexibility and a little bit more control over my traffic flow in the VCN. So for this particular uh, network security group rule that applies to all of the servers in my VCN currently, I wanna create an egress rule that allows access out to object storage uh, from any of my resources. Uh, so we'll go ahead and uh, jump in here. We're going to add a rule with a target type of service, not CIDR block. Uh, the target service is object storage. And that's it. That's all we have to populate in the rule. The Oracle Cloud control plane takes care of understanding what the object storage service maps to in terms of destination IP addresses. So as a user, I don't have to worry about what IP addresses are in scope for that particular service. So we'll go ahead and draw back here. We'll see this, the full diagram now. We have our VCN, our subnets, our route tables, our security list rules, and we've got a couple of network security groups deployed within our environment. Thanks for joining, folks. Come back to the next video, and hope to see you soon. Have a great day.